Hey there guys, what's going on today? And today, it's Peter and Cat 30 here, and I have another review for you. And, uh, this one isn't putty, it's just this, you know, standard, uh, product, the product. Uh, and I saw this the other day at work, and I figured I had to pick it up, and, uh, wanted to do a quick review of it. Now, I've done a couple of previous videos, uh, for the winter time especially, but in general, if you have chapped lips, dry lips, uh, or if you just want, you know, something to moisturize your lips throughout all the seasons, or in general, I uh, tend to use Burt's Bees, personally. I mean, they're, uh, to me, in my opinion, they're the best. Uh, <clears throat> I used pretty much everything, you know, Chapstick brand, which isn't bad, but their new moisturizing line uh, isn't too bad, actually. Uh, what do you call it? I tried Blistex, Caramex, whatever, you know, they're, eh. you know, I mean, I, I never liked Blistex, actually, because that stuff burns, in my opinion. Um, Caramex, or, that's, uh... It's not bad, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of, you know, the ones with the little tub that you have to scoop it and put it on your mouth, especially if you're out and your hands are dirty or something, you know, I, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there is one called, I think, Lipsy, which I've heard a lot about, that both, you know, a lot of men and women have reviewed on YouTube. Uh, apparently, it's more difficult to buy at your local store, but... Uh, I'm thinking of trying to probably order some on Amazon just for the hell of it, you know. I hear it's great for actually healing, like, you know, messed up lips, chapped lips, uh, cracked lips. But, again, you know, from my experience, for just, you know, store-bought over-the-counter items, you can't go wrong with Burt's Bees. If you could afford it, a little bit pricier, 3 to $4 range, but it's totally worth it, in my opinion. Now, for the past, like, five years or so, I've been using this one, the Burt's Bees Honey Flavor, which is, they say, new honey flavor. It's actually not that new. It's been out a few years now, but it's one of their newer, relatively newer flavors. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah. The good thing about Burt's Bees is that it's all natural. You know, there's no, nothing chemically, yet, no chemicals added to it. Uh, like some others that you never heard of before. Like, this is beeswax. Cocos, coconut oil, uh, you know, uh, any of this anise, it's sunflower seed oil, you know, these are like the technical names for it. Lanolin, lanolin is actually very natural and good. I think that's uh, from sheep, if I'm not mistaken, or, or something. Uh, honey. Ammonium glycerazate, <laughs> yeah, uh, tocoprol. Um, so yeah, I mean, then you got rosemarinus officinalis, rosemary, yeah, leaf extract, glycerin, soja, soybean oil canola oil, natural flavor, so a lot of these things are really all natural, these things, some of them have technical names that most people would probably have difficulty pronouncing, myself included, I mean, yeah, but, you know, for the most part, these are all natural ingredients, so, like I said, this is my go-to and my favorite Burt's Bees flavor, honey, personally, and a lot of people like the other ones, the peppermint, vanilla, whatever. But that's another thing, great thing about Burt's Bees. They offer a great variety of flavors. And, uh, you know, so you're bound to find something. I have a pomegranate upstairs. That's like my backup in case I lose this. I also use, uh, oh, what's it? I did a review for it. I don't know if it's Michael O'Keefe's or something. O O'Keefe's, you know, lip balm. You can actually see it on my channel if you type in O'Keefe's lip balm. I was the first person on YouTube to actually do a review on that, if I'm not mistaken. That's my backup for any Burt's Bees when I'm, you know, out of Burt's Bees and I can't get to the store and I'll use that. So I use that. I still have my stick from like two years ago. Still great condition. That's very good for just healing chaplets also. I think that's very underrated. Uh, it's got no scent, 
but that's fine. It gets the job done. But yeah, for like nice scent, moisturizing lip balm, great for cracked lips, I would definitely recommend anything Burt's Bees. Now, this Burt's Bees is, like I said, brand new. This is all weather. I never saw this before. Sun protection and moisturization for all seasons. SPF 15. Broad spectrum, water resistant. 40 minutes moisturizing lip balm. So, uh, as you can see, it comes in a little bit different packaging, red, but the same, it says new, because it's new. <laughs> uh, you got the ingredients, zinc oxide, 11% uses, so this may have a little bit different stuff in it than the standard uh, Burt's Bees, which is fine, because this is to prevent other things, so this helps prevent sunburn. Uh, if used as directed with other sun protection measures, see directions decreases the risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by the sun. Warnings for external use only. Do not use on damaged or broken skin. When using this product, keep out of eyes. Rinse with water to remove. Stop use and ask a doctor if rash occurs. Keep out of reach of children. If product is swallowed, get medical help or contact a poison control center right away. Directions apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Reapply every 40 minutes of swimming or sweating. Sun protection measures. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. To decrease this risk, regularly use a sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF of 15 or higher and other sun protection measures including limit time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., wear long sleeve shirts, pants, hats, and sunglasses, children under six months, consult a doctor. So, uh, yeah, that's like a no-brainer, you know? But, um, <clears throat> inactive ingredients. Beeswax, Olea, Urofaya, olive fruit oil, Theobroma, cacao, cocoa, seed butter, simoncia, simoncia, chinensis, jajaba, seed oil, uh, <laughs> isomel, laurate, boyas, perimum, parkeel, shea butter, flavor, the Mathis Alba Metal Form Seed Oil Citrus Orantium Dulcis Orange Peel Wax Jojaba Esters Glycerin Soja Soybean Oil Tocopherol Citric Acid Ribald Deocide Yeah And Epoxy Hydryl Hydroxyric acid, yeah, okay. So as you can see, this one has a, a couple more uh, chemicals in it. Probably not as natural as this one, it doesn't sound it. I mean, it does have the beeswax and the coconut oil and shea butter and all that, a couple of jojoba uh, wax and whatnot, but yeah, let's check it out, okay. So this is the container, comes about the same as the same size, so you get the same exact size as the standard Burt's Bees. Your little, I kind of, I've always liked the uh, wrapping on this thing. Some of them are like the chapstick, it's like they got that plastic thing, you know, anybody can just peel that off. Some of them don't even come always wrapped, but Burt's Bees are always protected, which I love. So, we're going to take this off now and, uh, yeah, just... Put that to the side. Okay. Still gotta take off part of this actually. That still doesn't do want it. Well, I'll do that later. Let me just open the thing up here. Alright, so as you can see, standard. The smell, it's got no smell, but it reminds me of something, I just can't pinpoint. It reminds me of a medicine that I've taken in the past as a kid. The smell. 
like, I don't know, I can't pinpoint it, like milk of magnesia or something, I, uh, I don't know. Let me try it. Oh man, that's a nasty smell. Maybe an antibiotic or something, I don't know, but it, it's, uh, I can't, the smell is uh, like a medicinal smell. Definitely not the most pleasant as far as scent, I'm going to tell you that. So as far as smell and scent, for me, it reminds me of this, uh, something I took when I was a kid. I, I can't remember what it was, whether it was for the stomach or uh, not cough medicine, but uh, I can't remember. Uh, either an antibiotic or something for the stomach, but it uh, it's just like bringing back memories. Uh, I don't I don't know. Moisturizing wise, I mean, it feels uh, this is all weather, so I guess it's good if you're you know summertime, wintertime, whatever, and you have nothing else. Uh, it's SPF 15, so broad spectrum and water resistance, so that's always good. I guess if you're in the rain, I don't know, you know or swimming as it said so uh, alright so smell wise I would rate this about a you know, for me like a 1 out of 10 is just not a pleasant smell they could have added something to it you know I don't know any flavor but yeah unfortunately the ones that are like more medicated they tend to have a, a bad smell medicinal smell or just a Plain smell. This one this also has zinc oxide, so I guess that's supposed to help you. It's 100% natural, although it's got more chemicals in it clearly than your standard burst bees. So, um, feel wise, it feels about the same as standard burst bees. You know, that, that buttery, smooth feeling on your lips. Uh, it feels like it's going to stay on my lips for a while, just by the feel of it. Uh, so yeah, it's not raining right now, it's night time, so I can't test that out, but I could tell that it would stay on your lips if you apply it a few times a day, just by how it's, you know, kind of sealed to my lips right now, you know, um, yeah, so I guess I'll get back in a future video, tell you how it heals the lips, but, uh, you know, it's got zinc, and it's good for all weather, and it's got SPF 15, so I guess if you're more concerned about that, you know, the a medical uh, bird bees, you would go for this one. You know, feel-wise, it feels like a 9 out of 10 on my lips, very smooth, comfortable. Um, kind of feels like maybe like a slight, slight tingly sensation, you know, like because of the medicine in it, as opposed to normal bird bees. But that's normal. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll have to see. But uh, this is good. Like I said, if you if you want like a medicinal bird's bee, something to protect your lips, and uh, something that's you know you don't care about flavors and scents and whatnot. But otherwise, I'll stick to my honey. Uh, yeah, I just this is just awesome. You know, it heals my lips. It makes them feel smooth. It it helps. Uh, the scent is great. And, uh, yeah, definitely more natural ingredients in this one than this one. So, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and uh, tell me what your thoughts are of this video. And uh, I'll see you guys later.